Block shear failure is a combined tension shear failure in which failure plane includes both tension failure plane which is normal to the force and shear failure plane which is parallel to the force. In block shear failure a block of a member is torn out around the periphery of the connections. Hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn how to find block shear strength of welded connections according to the AISC 360. I have been given a question which states that a a square hollow structural section is used as a tension member and is welded to a gusset plate of A36 steel as shown in figure. We have to find the block shear strength of the gusset plate using the LRFD as well as the ASD. So from AISC steel construction manual for hollow square section 8 into 8 into 1 by 2 side of section is 8 inch we can see from the figure that the length of the weld is 7 inch. Thickness of the gusset plate given in the question is 5 by 8 inch. In uh, this block shear failure, we have two shear surfaces and one tension surface. These are the two shear surfaces which are parallel to the force. And this is the one tension surface which is perpendicular or you can say normal to the force. Gross shear area, this is equal to 2 times length of the weld into the thickness of the gusset plate. So it will be equal to 2 into 7 into 5 by 8, which is 8.75 inch square. Since uh, in welded connections, gross and net shear area are equal. So net shear area will be also equal to 8.75 inch square. Tension area, this will be equal to the side of this hollow square section into the thickness of the gusset plates because we are finding the block shear strength of the gusset plate so we are using the thickness of the gusset plate and not of the hollow square section so it will be 8 into 5 by 8 which is 5 inch square for a36 steel yield strength is equal to 30 KS, uh, ksi and this ultimate strength this is equal to 58 ksi nominal block shear strength of this gusset plate is given by that is Rn is equal to 0 0.6 Fu into ANV plus UBS into Fu into ANT. So putting values of different variables, that is 0 0.6 into 58 into 8.75. This uh, UBS is the shear lag factor, which in case of uh, angles and plates in block uh, shear failure is equal to 1. So this will be equal to 1. Uh, and ultimate strength of this uh, plate is 58 and net tension area is 5 so we get the value of nominal block shear strength equal to 594.5 kips we have to check the upper limit of the block shear strength so upper limit is given equal to 0 0.6 into fy into agv plus ubs into fu into ant this will be equal to 0 0.6 into 36 into 8.75 plus 1 into 58 into 5 which will be equal to 479 kips we can see this one is the smaller of the previous value. So the smaller of the above two values is the nominal block shear strength. It means the nominal block shear strength of this gusset plate is 479 kips. For LRFT, design strength is equal to 0 0.75 into 479, which is equal to 359.25 kips. And for this AST, this will be equal to nominal strength divided by safety factor. So it will be 479 divided by 2, which is 239.5 kips. So this is the design and the allowable uh, strength, uh, design strength for LRFT as well as the allowable strength for the AST. Now, Again, we have another question which states that calculate the available block shear strength of the gusset plate as shown in figure. This one is the plate of size 6 inch into 1 by 2 inch and the length of the weld is 8 inch. Thickness of the gusset plate is also 1 by 2 inch. So we have again have to use both the methods that is the LRFT as well as the ASD. Again, uh, for this plate, size of the uh, plate is 6 inch, length of the weld is 8 inch, thickness of the gusset plate is 1 by 2 inch. There are again two shear surfaces and one tension surface in block sh shear. Uh, shear surfaces are parallel to the force and 
tension surface is normal to the force cross shear, shear area this will be equal to two times length of the weld into thickness of the gusset plate so it will be 2 into 8 into 1 by 2 which is 8 in square net shear area will be equal to the gross shear area so it will be equal to 8 in square tension area this will be equal to the side of the plate into the thickness of the gusset plate so it will be 6 into 1 by 2 which is 3 in square for a 36 uh, steel yield strength is 36 ksi and the ultimate strength is 58 ksi nominal block shear strength of the gusset plate will be given as 0 0.6 into the ultimate strength into the uh, net shear area plus uh, shear like factor into the ultimate strength into the net tension area so this will be equal to 0 0.6 into 58 into 8 plus 1 into 58 into 3 which is equal to 452.4 kips again we have to check the upper limit for the block shear failure so this will be equal to nominal strength is equal to 0 0.6 into the yield strength into the gross shear area plus shear lag factor into the ultimate strength into the net tension area putting values we get are n equal to 0 0.6 into 36 into 8 plus 1 into 58 into 3 which is equal to 346.8 kips we can again see this one is smaller of the previous value and the smaller one is the nominal block shear strength so nominal block shear strength of this gusset plate is 346.8 kips design strength for the lrfd will be equal to strength factor into the nominal strength so it will be 0 0.75 into 346.8 which is 260.1 kips and this design or allowable strength for asd this will be equal to nominal strength divided by the safety factor so it will be 346.8 divided by 2 which is 173.4 kips so this is how you can find the design as well as the allowable strength uh, for the block shear failure in case of the welded connections this video showed you how to find block shear strength of welded connections i hope this solution video was clear and you learned something new if you found this video helpful subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned